Hi, my name is Eric Mizell, VP of Solution Engineering at Kinetica. This is the first in a series of videos to educate you on Kinetica and how it can help you solve complex real-time data problems. Today, I'll introduce you to our in-memory GPU accelerated database. But first, what is GPU computing? GPU accelerated computing is the use of a graphics processing unit together with the CPU to accelerate scientific, analytic, engineering, and other applications. So essentially, GPUs are purpose-built for mathematical computation that have been used in high-performance compute workloads for years, as well as graphics acceleration, virtual reality, now autonomous cars, and other interesting net new applications. Modern GPUs have thousands of cores versus a typical CPU, which has 8 to 64. To sum it up, GPU accelerated computing alleviates the bottleneck left by traditional CPU-only architecture and enables faster analytics on a fraction of the hardware. So what is Kinetica and how does it work? Well, Kinetica is an in-memory distributed database built from the ground up on the principle of simple data structures with infinite compute. This database is purpose-built for high-speed data ingest, spatial, time series, OLAP workloads, can handle billions and billions of rows and aggregations in seconds or even subseconds. As you look at the Kinetica cluster, you'll see that we store data in memory as a vectorized column or store. Disk is used for durability and for storing data that is indexed for text searching and for data that's not needed in memory. All access to the clusters via RESTful endpoints, which enables a host of open source APIs like Java, JavaScript, Python, and much, much more. We also have ODBC and JDBC connectivity to enable your favorite visualization tool. Kinetica also has a rich set of geospatial capabilities that are exposed via standard WMS and WKT APIs, making it easy to integrate and accelerate spatial applications. Finally, getting data in and out of Kinetica is simple. Whether it's your favorite open source tool like Apache NiFi or Spark, or commercial ETL streaming or message queue, Kinetica's open APIs help you leverage your existing tools and skill sets, reducing time to value. So now that you have a better understanding of the architecture, let's talk about where Kinetica fits in. Kinetica fits into your existing infrastructure enabling net new applications or to speed up existing applications. You can ingest billions of rows a minute while querying the data at the same time, making it easy to ingest and analyze real-time data. It can also interoperate with your data lake and transactional systems to provide ultra-fast analytics on your most important data. It enables NoSQL workloads with the ability to run analytics in a compute-to-grid fashion. So I think you're kind of getting the picture of this database is multi-purpose, stores data in memory, gives us high-speed computation, and enables different compute paradigms as I want to search through, filter, aggregate data in different ways, whether I want to display it on a map or in a dashboard, or just do OLAP queries. So I appreciate you taking the time to learn more about Kinetica. I hope this session was useful. If you'd like to learn more about Kinetica, please visit our website at www.kinetica.com.